Yo, they make smash burgers now? Hey, so it's been a while since we've done one of these bonus videos. If you've been following the channel for a while, then you know that we release a new video every Friday where we feature a lot of local Toronto and surrounding area spots, you know, small businesses, that kind of thing. But occasionally we do do a couple of chain spots. Um, I don't do it very often, but when I do do them, we usually release those as bonus videos and they come out on the Tuesdays. As you guys probably all know that Toronto has been absolutely enthralled with the smash burger craze. So many awesome spots that we featured here that do smash burgers. Now that I saw that Hero's getting in on the action too, I thought I might give their smash burger a try. This is the regular smash burger. I got two. Um, they also have a special limited edition Korean one, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But this is their signature smash burger. And I got this one without tomato. So basically I got it as is the way they have it on the menu, but without tomato, just cause I'm not super crazy about tomato in my burger. All right, let's see what we're working with in this burger. You've got your potato roll, pickles, lettuce. Let's see some red onion in there, I think. And then there's the cheese, ketchup, I think mustard's part of the game as well. And then you've got the smash patty. Yeah, there's that mustard there at the bottom. And then there's the, there's a smash patty there. Mm, doesn't look that crispy on the edge. To be honest with you, it doesn't even really, doesn't even really look like a smash patty. Huh. But it does look different from the regular patties. I, I've had Hero Burger a few times and this is a little bit different from their signature patty. So oh, this is what they call their smash patty. All right, well, looks aside, where it's at is in the taste. So let's have a bite and find out. The pickle I like. Got a cherry cola. A couple of sips just to wash that down. All right. So, yeah. Not bad, love the squishy bun. Um, the lettuce is nice and crisp. Pickles I like in particular, they're nice. Ketchup, mustard classic on a burger but the patty look this is a smash burger that's how we're gonna judge it that's what makes a smash burger unique it's the way they do the patty and you know this is kind of my thing like again if you guys have been following my channel you know that I usually feature small business local spots versus chains and it's kind of not, not, not that I have a problem look I mean I eat at them from time to time you know, they have their place. Uh, they're usually, you know, more about value and convenience. The patty's lacking, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, you know, especially if you compare it to some of the other fast food chain spots. The patty doesn't have a high enough fat content, in my opinion. Um, you know, it's just not juicy enough on the inside. And then the real kicker is it doesn't have that smash patty crisped up edge. Usually when you take that ball of ground beef, freshly ground beef, you know, that's got a good high amount of fat content. Once you smush, you know, that patty into the skillet or the cooktop, you know, the, the juices release a little bit and you get that patty frying up in its own juices. So it's got that juicy, fatty, great beef umami. And then the edges begin to go through that mallard effect and they crisp up. You're not really getting that here. Yeah, you know, just with the patty, it's just not there. I mean, the beef flavor is fine. It just lacks that signature texture. 
that a smash burger usually comes with. Yeah. Okay. Before this gets cold, I want to get into the Korean one as well. So that's their Korean one there. Basically, you're looking at a lot of the same things. You got the lettuce, you got the onion in there. You know, the difference is it's got that Korean inspired barbecue sauce. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. You can see right there in the middle, there's a bit of a garlic aioli in there as well. You know what, I will say this. Hero Certified Burger, fries are always on point. They do the fries with the skin on, which I like. Mm. Yeah, pretty solid french fry. Okay, but what we're doing in this video is reviewing their take on the Smash Burger. And so, yeah, for me, yeah, it's a bit of a no for me. Uh, from a Smash Burger standpoint, it just, Hero Certified Burger just doesn't have a lot of those classic Hallmark characteristics of what I really love in a Smash Burger. But hey, look, no worries. Toronto surrounding area, they have lots of great burger spots that we've featured here on the channel. There's so many more that we still have yet to feature. Maybe I'll leave a couple of the videos, you know, down in the description below. If you're looking for a smash burger, if you've never had smash burgers, yeah, go out, check. I don't, I, I don't know how you haven't tried a smash burger, but you know, if you're just looking for a new spot or haven't tried them before, have a look at those videos. And yeah, I think you'll enjoy them immensely. But um, hey, in a pinch, if you happen to be by a Hero Certified Burger, the flavors are not bad, particularly that Korean one. All right, well, <laughs> I think this is a good spot to end the video, but no worries. We're gonna be back on Friday with one of our regularly scheduled local food spot reviews. So I'll catch you all then. The next time I get food. Mm -hmm.